Hello all, welcome to the third video lecture of computer graphics. In this lecture, we are going to cover the scan conversion concepts in computer graphics. So let us get started. The topics that we are going to cover in this lecture are the definition of scan conversion, advantages of scan conversion, objects, that means the primitive objects in of computer graphics, and finally the pixel. So this is the definition of scan conversion. Now it is a process of representing graphic objects by a collection of pixels. The graphic objects are continuous. The pixel used are discrete. Each pixel can either have an on state or an off state. Now you need to clearly know that the pixel are kind of uh, square in shape. Okay. And uh, as we had seen in the last video that uh, when we saw the game of uh, Mario, so the characters, okay, they were having uh, edges. They, were, they did not have a smooth finish to the edges of the characters. Okay. It was like a staircase kind of edges to the characters. So this is what we are talking about. Okay. So uh, the process of scan conversion is actually having a graphic ob object represented onto the screen with the help of collection of pixels. This is what is happening. So you might have seen uh, some black and white movies. Okay. Uh, previously everything was black and white and in that you can clearly know that each pixel could ho only hold two types of colors that is black or white. So we can say that the black color is the off state and the white color is the on state. So obviously the pixel could hold two values so that can be represented with binary values that is zero and one. So zero means the off state and one means the on state. Now uh, most of the human beings they think graphic objects as points, lines, circles, or some polygons. So any model of graphics, graphics can be uh, reproduced or brought onto the screen with a dense matrix of dots or points. And these dense matrix of dots or points can be represented using points, lines, ellipse, polygons. So the process of representing continuous graphic objects as a collection of discrete points or pixels is known as scan conversion. Now this can be demonstrated by a line that is defined by two endpoints and it has a slope. That means it has uh, the line has an equation. Also it can be represented by a circle that is represented by its midpoint and it has a radius. Now the job of conversion of every primitive object represented on the graphic screen in a set of pixels that is of, uh, in its basic form okay that is called as scan conversion or it can also be termed as rasterization so the conversion of graphic screen lines and objects depicted in pixel is scan conversion now so you need to be clear over here that uh, we have certain primitive objects from using which we can make the complex ones now so what are the advantages of uh, scan conversions? We need to understand that all of this complex uh, things that comes onto the screen, the diagrams or graphs or whatever. Okay. So these are generated with the help of the algorithms. Now these algorithms are there, uh, which have already been developed to create the basic primitive objects first. So using this algorithms, we can make uh, the complex one, which would be a composition of the primitive objects. So that's why this algorithm helps us to run the things faster and bring it onto the screen. Okay. Now algorithm also uses the memories very efficiently. Now algorithms is actually used to develop high level of graphical objects. Now the scan conversion methodology is used in different devices like TV or we can say LCD monitors or you can say projectors. So any particular video screen that you have a screen that represents uh, uh, graphics okay, has some scan conversion methodology associated. Now, the, this conversion technique has large and many applications in daily life because uh, now you see that even in this particular case of pandemic, we have uh, been looking at the screen throughout and uh, all these conversion techniques are helping us bringing things onto our screen. 
so one can efficiently perform the scan conversion using high and good speed circuits that are integrated so that's why uh, for normally for gra working in graphics we suggest uh, people have good uh, graphic memory that's why if, it, if you're having a good graphics card then uh, the scan conversion algorithms runs way faster and uh, things comes onto your screen way faster okay now what are the basic objects or i could say the primitive objects that can be scan converted so that means there are algorithms to get the basic objects ready as fast as possible so what are the basic objects uh, it's a, a first is a point second is a line okay then we have sector we have arc we have ellipse rectangle polygon characters and filled regions so all of these can be developed fast with the help of algorithms which is already developed now so finally everything comes onto the screen okay every single object that we talked about the primitive object that means a line which is having endpoints and it has having a slope we are talking about a circle which is having a red uh, center and it is having a radius okay with the help of which we, we can make the circle so everything is coming onto the screen only because of the help of the pixel now pix pixel is a smallest unit of graphic image or referred to as physical point in a raster this is the component of original graphic image which provides even more clear representation than the original image the intensity of each pixel may vary and it depends on the image represented in the graphics image and the color combination is represented by the three basic colors that are red green and blue that is your rgb okay now we can define a pixel as a rectangular dot centered at an integral position on an integral grid so you can see clearly over here this is that rectangular pixel that we are talking about and it is there onto the screen okay and we it also has a location that is if we say this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis then this point is kind of uh, if we say that this is the first one okay the first pixel the first column the second column third fourth then this is the fifth column and accordingly this is the fifth row so this is 5 comma 5 the address is 5 comma 5 now each box is represented as pixel and we can say that now this pixel which is there this is in an on state so in this on state uh, we can see a uh, black is the on state and uh, white is the off state okay now pixel uh, includes uh, its own two things okay first is the intensity and second is the address now address is the location that we just saw 5 comma 5 and intensity is the brightness or the color which is going to come upon to the pixel okay so it could be uh, the combination of rgb okay as well as the intensity could be like how bright or uh, how good the contrast of that particular pixel could be so all of this information is stored for a fixed pixel so this is all related to can scan conversions thank you so much happy learning enjoy computer graphics if you like this video kindly like share and subscribe